foot. Ride day at Cammer. Old Brent the Viking got a new got a new DAS on the 450. Freaking thump mania. <laughs> got the Banshee out. Running good again. I hope so. We're gonna try it out today and see kind of how it's doing. So for what little I've rode it, it seems to be acting better. One fellow in the comments said use some starter fluid and spray it on the stuff and he said once you hear it rev. That's a good indication. I thought that was a pretty good idea. Right. Never thought of that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Appreciate that. Where it was, I don't remember off the top of my head. Maybe explain why you went with the shorty versus. Sounds good. That sounds good, dude. Yep. That sounds good. It's loud for sure. Yeah. The shorty looks great. Yep. Why'd you go with the shorty versus the long? Uh, the standard can is uh, about four inches longer. I like how it tucks back under the plastic. I just kind of like the look of the shorter. I saw a few pictures, a few YouTube videos of the DASA on a, you know, the shorty. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it looks better as far as, I know they're louder. Um, as far as performance, they say they give it a little bit more horsepower. I don't know if it's mid-range or top end, um, but that's kind of what I've heard. So just kind of a nice overall fit. Heck yeah, it looks absolutely awesome on the machine. So I guess we'll find out how it's running today. You did a valve adjustment too? Yeah, I adjusted the valves, uh, did a service on it, did the jet kit and the carburetor, uh, air intake. I went with, on the jet kit, I went with a 185 main jet. 45 pilot um, and then I put my needle on the middle clip and I haven't ridden it with the pipe on here yet so we'll kind of see if that needs to be adjusted if it's running right or not so find out today yeah awesome <laughs> 